Look at that, almost 60,000 energies. That is going to be quite enough for a while of PVMing. Let's make some divine charges and get back into Slayer as I was working on in my last video. And if you want to join my Discord, by the way, link to that is always at the top of the description. Hope you guys will enjoy the video. I don't think I have to make more charges right now. 182 should be doing fine and disassembling for simple parts is kind of slow. So I'm just going to add as many as I can. Added 130 of them and that should be now 21 hours. That is a lot of PVMing I can do. Also made two equipment siphons, actually made three, but uh, I used one of them as well. So I am very close to 108 invention. But getting the uh, precious components and dexterous ones are kind of annoying. Got like four keys to the crossing this uh, corrupted creature task and uh, they are actually one in 400 drop rates but on task only one in 75. So that is another reason why I really want to do these on task. I'm up to 1900 creatures now and I actually have like roughly a thousand corrupted creatures uh, loot in this chest but uh, I'm not going to open it just yet. I actually want to kind of save it until I do get that Kopesh just to have like a really interesting opening then. Oh my god, I'm doing shadow creatures and I get a dark soul. That is actually a pet, I think, or it's like a part of one of the pets in the, uh, or the shadow creatures. I'm pretty sure I have one of these dark minds and I'm pretty sure you need three or four of them. And you can actually get the pet for these creatures, which is usually a massive grind. So I think that was very lucky. I'll put on the screen right now what the drop rates are. You might be wondering, yeah, what am I doing on a legacy world? Well, it is because on this world the traveling merchant is up. And it's very special today because you can buy a death touch dart for 5 million. So I've uh, accumulated 6.3 million here. I'm going to be buying the death touch dart first off and also the anima crystal, which is only 150k for 500 reputation in any faction at God Wars 2 dungeon. Probably going to use that for the Sleske reputation for Gregorovic for the uh, hybrid gear. But uh, what I'm actually going to use this death touch dart for is the ambassador. You can actually go into ED3, clear everything up to the ambassador and then just go in and one shot the boss for a 1 in 60 chance of getting an Eldritch crossbow piece. That is pretty much what I'm going to be using all the death, death touch darts I ever buy in the future on, most likely until I at least can easily solo the boss. Before I can use the dart I have to clear all the way up to the ambassador so uh, let's see what we get from the two bosses before. Leviathan loot is going to be... Some arrow tips, that's one of the worst drops you can get, I think. And uh, from Taraket, we're going to get... What is that? Blackstone Heart? I think you use that for... Actually, I don't remember what you use that for, but you need a lot of them to be able to even use them, so one is not the best drop. So now we're at the Ambassador, finally, and I actually saw a clip fairly recently of someone throwing the Death Touch Dart at the Ambassador, and it, nothing happened. But, um, so I actually was a bit worried that it didn't work on the boss, but I looked it up and you are supposed to be able to use it on this boss. So if nothing happens, then I guess it's just a bug and I'm going to be very unlucky. So I'm actually going to run a bit in and DPS it for like 5 seconds or something, and then I'll swap to the darts and use it. So let's see what actually happens. Hopefully I won't get KO'd, that would be pretty unfortunate. So let's just go in here. I have loot turned off, by the way, on the chest and wield. And now I should be able to throw it. And let's throw it on the boss. And there's the instant kill. And I got four black stone hearts. I think that is probably one of the... Uh, that's a terrible drop. Unfortunate. And it didn't even get doubled. So uh, that is... Uh, let's now, by the way, look at the KC. That's pretty unfortunate loot, by the way. But um, let's look at the KC. Zero still. So uh, it is uh, not counting towards the KC. No Eldritch crossbow piece this time. Actually made more money from just clearing all the trash to the boss than the ambassador itself. Oh my goodness, no way. Two actual Glacor tasks, I just started this one and I get the Glaven boots. That's the ranged ones and uh, now I'm only missing the magic ones because in my last video I got the steadfast ones or was that in this one even? I don't even remember. But that is insane. I've got both the boots now in, or two of the three boots in how many kills? I have killed 364 of them. 
I actually got a chance now to do a bit of a duo Calified King with another Iron Man from my Discord, one of my admins, Lucy Loud. So we're going to hopefully be successful in doing some duo kills and let's see what we can get. Imagine if I would get a Drygore, that would be the absolute dream. First I Calified King kills for an achievement, but uh, of course no Drygores yet. I think uh, we got some Quorms now, and I got some Black Dragon Eyes before and a Shark drop and some other stuff, but nothing too interesting. What is this drop? 49 Super Stores, which is actually a super good drop. And uh, then like Stone Spirits and Black Dragon Eyes, bunch of different random stuff. And uh, the last kill of the session, the first Calified King session of this entire account. I think I only had a 1kk kill before this that I did like the longest time ago ever on a stream. But this is the first actual run and Onyx Balls for the last drop is actually not that bad. Probably one of the best drops we've got. And my current KC now from 1 is now 18. So we did 17 kills. And um, well done Lucy, you actually uh, did really well. Actually for quite a while now I haven't been getting the tasks I want, aka the corrupted creatures, and I am at 548 tasks so soon I'll get quite a lot of points. But something that might help is actually Slayer VIP tokens and you can get them pretty frequently from the giant mimic. So I'm actually going to use these tokens, 16 of them, and there's some other things that are really good that you can get from this boss, I'll just put the uh, loot table on the screen right now. I'm going to be killing uh, hopefully 16 of them on elite difficulty, should be able to do it with my stats, and uh, let's see what we get. If you don't know what this boss is, it is a timed boss that you have to kill within 2.5 minutes, and it only has like 200,000 HP, 160k or something like that. So it's pretty easy to actually make the timer, and this is the hardest difficulty and you have to kill these ads they have pretty simple mechanics actually i made a guide on this boss a very long time ago like four or five years ago so it's uh it's been in the game for a while and it shouldn't be that much of an issue for me to kill 16. it's always so nice on the ground every time you kill the boss because it always gives you a big beam one of these even though uh, it really is not worth usually that much i'm just doing this uh, as i said for mostly the slayer vip tokens or tickets as well as those uh, scream shots that you can get that are very nice for Slayer. Let's see if we can get some Slayer VIP tickets or some of those scream shots. Let's just open them one by one. 30k coins. Slayer VIP ticket. And do I have to just... Do I get it? Or where is it? Oh, it's in my bank. Okay, so that's whatever. Slayer VIP ticket. Scream shot sacrifice. Nice. That is one of the scream shots. They're like 1.3 million. But uh, I'm getting quite a lot of Slayer VIP tickets, so that's pretty nice. This one is so good for Slayer. One hour of constant aggression mobs is very nice. And we're going to try that in a bit. More Slayer VIP tickets, sacrifice, aggression, another aggression, and a Slayer VIP ticket. So let's see how many I have now. That should be like 10 or something, or a bit less than that. Slayer... Wait, where are they actually? The hell? There they are, they are in the uh, currency pouch, so 7 of them is going to be pretty nice, like 50% pretty much loot from the uh, chests were Slayer VIP tickets. The uh, Scrimshot of Sacrifice is when worn you receive no drops but receive more combat and Slayer experience, so that is pretty good. As well as the Aggression Aura is just a constant aggression potion for an hour, and I think you can actually add these together and you make one of these, Scrimshot of Corruption, and that is just both those effects in one, so that might be very good for uh, what I'm going to do. Thinking about it a bit more, I probably need all the loot because I need components and all that stuff, so I'm probably just going to use the Scrimshot of Aggression if I'm going to use any of them, so good thing I got three of them. I had no idea actually, but I have a 100 Thaler, and with that I can actually buy 20 of these. So I can get 20 more Slayer VIP tokens for those Thalers. So yeah, I have 27 now. Should be quite a bit easier for a while to get those Corrupted Creatures as a task. Not even a Slayer ticket needed. A corrupted Creatures on the first one. It's honestly a dream having these Slayer VIP tickets. Look at that. I would have got Abyssal Demons. But 239 Corrupted Creatures. I don't say no to that. Can also use my dedicated Slayer Aura to get 5% more of that. I just got a Magister's Journal 2 and this is actually a very rare drop from Corrupted Creatures and you need 5 of them to complete a 
master quest cape requirement so it is a huge grind for uh, if you're going for that cape so uh, I guess one of the five is done but otherwise it's not that useful 90 million magic experience only 14 million left until my first 120 that is going to be such a nice cape to wear now that is the real actual blue dragon egg unchecked I think I've got four dragon eggs before I got the unchecked one which is very nice and I think that is for level 92 so I still need to get two more farming levels I actually got one level through the uh, CD side just doing Slayer during this video but yeah I just need two levels and then I have a unchecked blue dragon and I probably need another one as well hopefully one male and one female so I can breed them for uh, infinite experience basically so I just hit 110 inventions, so 10 more levels until 120 cape for that. Uh, but I'm struggling really a lot with making the equipment siphons. And if you guys don't know, if you're really struggling on an Iron Man to get precious and dexterous components to make equipment siphons, you can actually siphon the items at level 13 instead of level 12. It is going to take a bit longer to level them, actually quite substantial amounts. But if you do that, you actually, I will show you guys, save 50% of your siphon so you basically get 50% more siphons overall because at 13 siphoning this item has a 50% chance of not consuming the siphon so if you make very few of them and you can't really make a lot of them because of uh, lack of components then it might be worth to just level them to 13 siphoning them and hopefully not actually use that siphon we can now open the oyster and we can actually get a lot of farming and fishing experience and if we look at my fishing I'm 98 and only 335,000 of 99. I don't think I'll get that much experience from doing this but let's see first 3.3 million mystic water stuff. I think it's only the uh, puzzle skipping tickets that are so expensive. Let's have a look. 1.6 million each. Who would actually pay that much for uh, a puzzle skipping digger? That's insane. But uh, let's see how much experience I get for each. 7,000. So I need 320,000 experience. Let's see how much we get. So 126k left. So around 200,000 experience for that. And I actually have to uh, disassemble here. 1.1 thousand experience in farming as well from each one of these picks. So decent amount of experience from this as well. About to be one step closer to that max cape, 99 fishing in one tick here, another 99 achieved on the account and I think, let's see, it provides a chance to gain an additional catch. This is actually really nice when I'm going to be doing sailfish fishing in the future for food. I have a lot now already from uh, going for 99, but um, yeah, having more fish on an Iron Man is always a good thing and I'm definitely going to still have to do a lot of fishing after 99. There we go, that's the fishing skill cape done, trimmed, looking really nice. I actually love how this cape looks, the gold and the blue looks uh, super nice together. So fairly recently I hit over 4,000 corrupted creatures killed and the drop rate for the Kopech is 1 in 8,000 so pretty much halfway there to the drop rate. And I have 3,100 roughly kills of loot in the treasure chest and um, I'm actually going to just uh, tease you guys a bit. I'm not going to open this in uh, this video. I'm probably not going to open it in the next video either. That depends. I am actually going to open this chest and show you guys the loot when I do get the Kopesh. And um, if that's 10,000 kills, if that's uh, 100 more kills, we have no idea. But it, it is going to be a very juicy chest. The loot that you get from these creatures is actually very good money. So uh, it is going to be very interesting to open this whenever I do that. But for now, this is going to be the end of this video. If you did like it, please leave a like. It really helps my videos get shown more. And subscribe if you want to see my future uploads. And, uh, you know, when I open this chest, you can uh, get notified when that video is going to be up. So I uh, hope you guys have a good one. Take care.